So Swindon looking to make the early breakthrough here. It's a high ball, difficult one to deal with, and here's Michael Timlin. And he got too much behind it. That was a real chance for Swindon. And wasted by Timlin. The Bristol Rovers have guaranteed their safety over the last couple of weeks. Jacobson with the ball into the area. Slipped by Kaminguez. It'll fall here for Pipe. The ball back in. And Ricky Lambert with the shot. Good save by Peter Brezovan in the Swindon goal. Excellent reflexes, really. And Bristol Rovers looking the most likely to break the deadlock. And this is Ricky Lambert. And that wasn't too far away. Kaminguez for Swindon. Searching ball forward. It's cut out. Bit of a mix up, though. And Simon Cox may be able to profit on that. He can get the cross in as well, and it's Peacock all alone. And he should really have done better there in that situation. Corner kick to Bristol Rovers. And the drop here for Lambert. And cleared off the line somehow. He may have even hit the Bristol Rovers player on the line. So still no breakthrough between these two sides who were promoted from League Two last season. Bristol Rovers could get one now though, it's Craig Disley and he should have scored very wasteful from Craig Disley through on goal that's a good corner and the header from Simon Cox gives Swindon the lead with 16 minutes to go great delivery from the corner and it's Swindon who've broken the deadlock not the best of defending from the home side. Cox is going to get a booking here. Perhaps with his uh, over-elaborate celebrations and the referee has asked him to go and uh, put the corner flag back in place. But it's 1-0 to Swindon. 